What's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy Siobhan and today I'm going to show you guys my favorite apps that I use on my 11 inch 2020 iPad Pro. So with this iPad Pro I opted to get the Magic Keyboard because it just overall makes the experience really better in my opinion when I was using it without the Magic Keyboard I actually returned it. So I had this iPad twice so I bought it the first time just to do an unboxing for you guys and then it was so expensive I was like ah, I probably don't need this so I returned it and then when the keyboard came out I bought the keyboard bought another iPad and then I actually ended up enjoying the iPad using it every day switching between my PC laying on the bed just using the iPad so yeah it was overall a great experience and in today's video I'm going to show you guys the apps that I use for productivity entertainment literally just showing you every app that I have on the iPad so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and also thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video but without any further ado let's jump on into the video to see my favorite apps of 2020 on the 2020 iPad Pro and if you're wondering what screen protector I have on also the wallpaper it will be linked down below it's the paper like screen protector but yeah let's get started Okay guys, so as I mentioned earlier, I have iPad OS 14 beta on this iPad right here, the 2020 iPad with the Apple Pencil and the Magic Keyboard. So first of all, I just want to talk about my entire setup and layout right here. So on this side, we have the tiles from basically widgets and I have all my favorite widgets on this side. So basically I have the calendar, the weather widget, the, bat the battery widgets basically shows us all the different iOS devices we have. I have reminders here. And this is my favorite right here, and these are my shortcut widgets. So on here, I have quick access to everything that I usually do on a regular basis. For example, the laundry timer to ring my wallet right here to track my wallet if I want to create a new tweet, a new calendar event. So for example, let me just show you guys what these quick shortcut widgets could do. So for example, I want to say, make a quick tweet. I know you could do this by shortcuts, but I always want to tweet quick. So just straight to Twitter. Just a test, boom, hit tweet, and that's done. Go ahead and delete that tweet real quick. If you guys are not following me on Twitter, go ahead and do so. It's it's underscore Chevy, yup. Now on this page, I only have two pages. So the first page is all the like generic Apple apps you have. And at the bottom, I have a couple apps that I use the most often. I removed the recently used apps because it was just too clutter for me. And just looking at this, Let's me feel more productive and organized. So on the top, we have FaceTime, the calendar, clock, home, photos, camera, all these apps that you've seen before, which I would not go into. But the first app that I want to touch on is OneNotes. Now, I use OneNotes a lot. I use this to organize all my notes and especially scripting for my YouTube videos. So as you can see over here, we have a ton of different YouTube videos. And basically, you have notebooks and all of that. And the reason why I like it is that because it syncs across all your devices. So you could use it with your iPhone, your Windows PC, your MacBook, you get the gist. iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows, it blends well across all of those. Now, the only issue I have with this is that on the iPad, the space bar doesn't work. So for example, I want to type a note here. If I try to hit the space bar, as you can see, it's not working. So that's the reason why I'm, I don't want to use OneNotes that much. I always use it, but then I try to switch over to Notion, which I'll touch on a little bit later. Next, we have Podcast, TV, Measure App. I actually use this app a lot. So the Measure App, you could basically measure any dimensions easy. And because the new iPad has that LiDAR scanner right here, so it's super easy to record or measure any surface. So for example, when I mention the iPad, you could already see shows up the dimensions, which is insane. So I could just add that rectangle right there. Boom, all the measurements there already without me even have to do anything. And you can see the length, the width, all of that. So yeah, this measure app is one of my favorite apps that Apple has ever made. And next up from the measure app, we have Skillshare. And as I said before, Skillshare is today's sponsor. Now, what is Skillshare, you might ask? Basically, it's an application that you could use on your iPad or your iPhone, your PC. So it's an app that you could go on. It's basically a learning, online learning community where they have tutorials like how to make YouTube videos, tutorials like this, photography for Instagram, illustration, creativity, art, literally anything you'd ever want to learn, they have tutorial for it but it's just way more in depth and it gives a better understanding than probably a, a, my short tutorial video on YouTube. You know, it's like a class. So Skillshare offers thousands 
of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics like I mentioned they have illustrations so if we go into illustrations boom look at all these classes 8 of 400 classes they have classes for design art you want to learn how to cook you want to learn how to film filming boom you have a class for that 25,000 people are enrolled in this class you want to learn how to use your new drone there we go and the good thing about it is that you could choose the different topics in the classes you know you could choose when to go to class so you're not locked down to the class now the thing I like about Skillshare is that the tutorials are broken up into chapters which might save a lot of time because you could skip to the different sections you want which is really really useful so for me personally these are the classes that I've been taking so far so we're I have a class from Jordy right here that I've been watching and basically just teaches me more about Premiere Pro. I basically finished all the classes already, but I could always go back, for example, video effects. This is one thing I, I was trying to learn a lot about. And I could always just come back here and check out anything that I'll need to know. You have the about, you have the discussions of people talking about it. So yeah, just overall a good community. And I think you guys might learn a lot from Skillshare. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, guys. And the first 1,000 of my subscribers that click the link down below in the description will get two months free trial of premium membership so you guys could explore your creativity. Alright guys, now on the bottom row right here, I just have all the folders of the applications that I use the most. And of course, I have the settings app right here so I could reach it really quickly. But the first folder is all my Google applications. So these are literally every application that I actually use on a daily basis like Google Home to control my lights. I have tons of different lights in the room. Seven lights are probably eight. Yep, eight lights that I control with Google Home. Google Maps, which I think is way more convenient than Apple Maps in my opinion. Google Photos, which is something that you guys definitely need to check out. I actually paid for Google Photos because I don't have enough storage on my iPhone, but you get up unlimited storage on Google Photos, literally. So you could delete all these pictures from your iPhone and just save them to Google Photos. I literally have images on here from way back 2012 or something like that and it's still there. Google Meets for meetings, Google Docs for school. Google Drive for transferring files because I edit a lot of videos. I edit videos for people as well and they use Google Drive so I could transfer all those large files, download them in the highest quality. We have Google AdSense to track my YouTube earnings. Remote Desktop, this is a pretty cool app. A remote Desktop, I could basically control my PC from anywhere. So as long as the PC is online, I could be anywhere in the world and control my PC. Let me just show you guys real quick. So yeah, this is literally my PC right here, guys. As I said before, it's not practical, but if you forgot like it to send in an email or something like that, you could just come here. Let's bring this over to Google. Gmail, boom. <laughs> so yeah, that's remote desktop. Google Translate self-explanatory. Google Assistant is also self-explanatory. Almost like Siri, but much better in my opinion. Next up, we have my entertainment or social media folder, I call it. So we all know all these applications already, so I won't run through anything. But if you guys don't know what Reddit is, Reddit is really cool. This is what I use to anything I don't know, like you have a different subreddit for it. So you have like this iPad subreddit and people just post their cool new iPad, new iPad accessories, stuff like that. So anything you're interested in, there's a subreddit for that. If you're interested in plants, you could just type in plants. And you have a community with 1,113, 113,000 people, different plants, plants enthusiasts, you know, so anything you're interested in, there's a, red, a subreddit for it, you could build a community. Tweetbot is a Twitter client and it's definitely not supported for the iPad, so I'm definitely going to delete it right now because I don't know why I have it. <laughs> Next up we have Skype, Netflix. That zone app, this is really cool. I'm not sure if I'm signing on the iPad, but basically with this app, you could watch soccer. So yeah, this is it right here, guys. Live, soccer, live. If you watch boxing, you could find it on there. Twitch, one of my most favorite things. And I always open this at late night when X is streaming. So this is where I have a shortcut for it, GTA stream. This normally pulls me to X stream, but he's not live right now, of course because he normally streams in the night but that's why i like these shortcuts so yeah that's basically everything in here we have fortnite and call of duty 
and over here we just have some miscellaneous apps that I don't really use but I just keep them on here for notifications if you know what I mean. Next up we have the camera and editing app. So we have Photoshop, Photoshop Fix, Procreate. I love Procreate especially with my paper like screen protector on the apple pencil just so good i normally use this to create like mock-ups or for example thumbnails like this when i want to have this nice you know doodly stuff here i would use this app vlum is an app that shows wallpapers so if you love wallpapers you come get this app you have beautiful wallpaper that you guys could choose from and this actual wallpaper that I have right now, I'll make sure to leave it down below in the description for you guys. Next up, we have Snapseed. I use that to edit photos. I haven't used it in probably a month or so. I normally use VSCO more because it's just simpler, just simple Instagram post. I would use this thing. And obviously, I haven't used it with my iPad yet because it's normally on my iPhone. Facetune as well, haven't used it with the iPad, normally on the iPhone. But, oh, I actually used it. So I actually use it to get these flares over here as you can see with Facetune. I don't really use Facetune for my face obviously. So I'm just show you the before and after. How do you find the before and after? Let's 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 undo. Undo, undo. So yeah, that's how I look before and with Facetune. Add these nice flares. So yeah, pretty cool app if you want to add a little touch up to your stuff over. I normally use this to add text, but I normally just start editing everything on Photoshop on my desktop. Image Edge, I use this to control my camera remotely. So yeah. Next up, I have my finance folder, and I just keep everything in here finance related. So my bank, my budget, QuickBooks, PayPal, Scotia Bank, all of that stuff. So yeah, these are all things that I can't really open right now because it has monetary and personal stuff in here. But we have Tellus from my phone bill, Best Buy, PayPal Business, Shopify, Amazon, Kijiji. Basically the same thing as eBay, but for Canada, so you could buy and sell stuff. Same thing with Kijiji Autos, you buy and sell cars on here. So yeah, that's my finance folder. Now down at the dock here are all the apps that I use on a daily basis. So messages, Chrome, and I love Chrome because it's almost like a desktop. So if you search for Google, let's type in chevron let's type in chevron so it's almost like as i said before a laptop experience as you can see you know it is fun like it's like a mini laptop in your hands mail discord i use this so much discord is what i use to talk to my server friends you know people that play games with every day this is where we go and chill as you can see this is my gaming team if you guys want to join the discord i'll have the links down below in the description for you guys next up we have spotify we all know what spotify is let me guys know let me know down below in the comments what type of music you listen to but yeah spotify for that then notion this is what i start to use now instead of one notes because the keyboard actually works i could come in here this is a video i'm working on right here i could come in here and type actually type hello you know space boy working all of that and notion is just really good this is like a video on itself that's why i won't go too deep into this but for now i have my scripts here different scripts the one plus eight script that i did if we go back here we have cool tech on the 50 script that i did not really a script but you get the idea and also i have my monthly budget on here so i'm not doing really good right now i'm past 1700 but this is what i use to organize my budgeting so anything i do i try to i'm trying to stay under the limit of 1800 it's definitely not working out well because i did some extra shopping which wasn't necessary also some amazon stuff which wasn't necessary food which wasn't necessary so this like lets me keep account of all my expenses so i know what i could cut down on instead of spending spending and not knowing what i'm spending on and these are just templates that came with the app because i just got the app and i'm trying to use it more but so far notion looks really promising we also have the files app and on here you just browse files if you guys didn't know you could add a like SD card by USB type C come in here use the files app just like on a PC which is really cool in my opinion now if we scroll over to the other page these are all literally miscellaneous apps that I just keep on the device for notification NordPass is really important to me though because I use that to track all my passwords all that stuff Philips Hue is also important because this is what I used to control my lights so I could change up the scenery and everything so if I wanted to change all the lights to this I could do so big sir if I want to turn all the lights off 
I could do so as well just by the touch of a button but when I'm recording videos I normally keep it to energize so yeah that's pretty cool Pinterest I was trying to use Pinterest to find nice wallpapers but it wasn't working out that well I've always used Pinterest though so I have iPad wallpaper boards my gym board my healing board my calm board so yeah Pinterest is really cool for stuff like that photo booth I've never really used this before but there we go literally never opened this app it's just there just because it's apple shortcuts this is what i used to come in here create all my different shortcuts these are all the shortcuts i have right now which is pretty cool we have itunes store apple apple support canada post to track all my deliveries safari i hardly use that dropbox for file managing and yeah everything else is just typical stuff that you guys probably have like you already know before and that's basically what's on my iPad and everything that you guys need to know. Alright guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to smash the like button. We're almost close to 60,000 subscribers. So join the family and let's hit that 60,000 subscriber mark. We're going to 100k. If you want to see more iPad videos, just let me also know down below in the comments. And thank you guys for making it to the end. As always, love, peace and tweaks. I don't know if I showed you guys my lock screen actually. So let me just show you the lock screen wallpaper that I have. This is it right here. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'll put this at the start or the end of the video. But yeah, this is the lock screen wallpaper. Please remind me to put this down below in the description for you guys. But yeah, that's it for today's video. As always, peace.